Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... Step 1. Take a picture of Senpai. Have Masume distract Senpai for the pic. Step 2. Send a letter to the bullied girl and meet up. Step 3. Talk to her and show the picture of Senpai and Masume to the girl. Will the game glitch or will she kill Senpai? Okay, so right now while I'm recording this, I have the latest build of Yandere Simulator, which is February 21st, 2018. Whenever I download the latest build, I check what's been updated, what bugs have been fixed and stuff like that. And right here it says, fix the bug that allowed the player to send a fragile student to kill Senpai. So I think that whatever you want me to do has been fixed, but I'm gonna go back to a previous build just so we can see what it looks like. So here we go. Actually, before we do anything at all let's see what haruda does in the february 21st build since the bug has now been fixed so let's talk to masume ask for a favor and distract senpai boom please go ask this person if they have a crush on anyone text me their answer later that sounds embarrassing but i owe you one so i'll do it okay so we got masume talking to our senpai right here and damn he's looking good he's looking like zaddy Bruh. so let's take a picture and it's not showing up like this shouldn't have an x on it this should be a-ok -okay. but let me just save it anyway i'm gonna save that and then we're gonna have masume talk to somebody else let's ask her to distract the evil red-headed dude i like this guy he's slowly becoming one of my favorite characters so we're gonna take a picture and then as you guys can see right there there's no longer an x on the box so we are gonna save that picture too and let's see if we can still send the picture of Senpai to Haruda. Actually, we can't. Right here, it says name bully if you highlight the one of Masume talking to the red-headed dude. And then you can't send the one of her talking to Senpai. So this time we are back in the February 20th build. Senpai still looking daddy as fuck. So we are going to save this picture. And this time we are going to send it to Haruda. And we are going to make some things happen. So in this build, we can name the bully as Senpai. So here we go. This is the person who spread rumors about you. Yup. And ruined your reputation. So, everything that's happened to me is because of this person? Hell yes, it is. So let's Thank fast forward for to the next day, and let's see what you're gonna I... do about it. So, so far, so good. Haruda is not here in the conga line walk into the locker room. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be right here. Yup. Okay, there you go. She's curled up into a little Cheeto ball. She's plotting and scheming about what she's about to do to Senpai. And my nipples are hard just thinking about it. It says that you can give her the knife, but apparently this takes her knife away. And I definitely do not want to take away a knife of somebody that's about to use it on Senpai. So we're just going to follow right behind her and let's get this thing started. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I want to be close to Senpai as he's getting killed. So yandere Chan can make all those faces. There we go. Okay, so to answer your question, yes, she will kill Senpai, but only in the February 20th, 2018 build. If you play anything later than that, you will no longer be able to do it. So that is officially debunked. On to the next one. What happens if you show the boys having a conversation a body or laugh between them? Can you distract them at all? Okay, before we get this started, I just want to say something because I was thinking about this in the last episode. Yandere Dev mentioned how he wants the school to feel more lively. He wants more conversations to be happening around the school. Why not add some sound effects, like some background chatter? Like, I'll add some right now. I'm going to wait for, like, more students to come to this lunch area, and I'm going to add, like, some background chatter sound effects, okay. and then you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to run across these guys right here, and then you're going to see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go up to them. You guys hear that? And then once I go away, the background chatter kind of fades away. But only when you get close, you can hear the background chatter. I feel like that would make the school feel a little bit more alive. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, these two fuckboys are having a conversation. Let's see if we can distract them. Let me try something simple first. Let me just try laughing. Okay, the blue-haired girl, she kind of turned around. Wait. These guys noticed, but they're still talking. They're looking at me, but they're still talking. They're like, what in the goddamn is going on here? Okay, now they're just looking at each other. They're staring deep into each other's souls. So I guess my maniacal laughter isn't really affecting them that much. But the students back there, they're definitely wondering what's up. Let me be a little bit more extreme. And let me go into an Easter egg. Let's go Falcon mode. And let me Falcon punch this guy because he talks way too damn much. Boom! There you go. Oh, and I forgot he's so freaking evil that he doesn't even care that his friend's dead. 
Yes, yeah, some friend you are. Okay, so obviously the Easter egg thing is gonna distract them because I did kill one of the guys. This time we're just gonna drop in with a body right here. Blam. Senpai didn't notice that. Well, he kind of did, but he's not gonna notice shit. Let me pick this body up. He better not come here. Better not come here, Senpai. Go right here. And did I distract them? Yup, I did. Okay, there you go. And they huddled around me so they could tackle my ass. Okay, so that was pretty simple. If you laugh... What the hell? Wait a minute, this blonde-haired fuckboy is still having a conversation. So he pinned me down, but he's still having a conversation. So you can temporarily distract these guys, but ultimately anime rules all. And that's always the number one priority because they just got done tackling my ass. And now he's talking over my pinned body. Look at this guy. He's still posing and shit. So to answer the question, yes, you can kind of distract them. But they ultimately just go back to having their conversation. On to the next one. If you show Haruta the picture of Masume talking to another student and then kidnap her, will she automatically go for the student Masume was talking to or will she be a regular mind slave? Okay, so in order to get this to work, I think Haruta needs to be able to follow us after we show her the picture of Masume talking to the student. So meet me behind the school at 7.15 a.m. and blam. So yeah, if we can get her to follow us, then I think we can make this happen. But if she doesn't follow us after that whole conversation with the picture, then I think this is gonna be an easy debunk. So I'll just take this and I'll take this. What's up, pancake ass? So this is the picture that I chose, Masume distracting the blue-haired four-eyed girl. So blam. And let's see if we can talk to her. Okay, we can. So ask a favor. Follow me, please. Okay, so we showed Haruta the picture of Masume talking to the blue-haired girl. We just kidnapped her. We're gonna torture her. Then we're gonna convert her to a full mind slave. Let's bring her to school. And let's see if she's our mind slave or if she wants revenge on that blue-haired girl. If she's on the left, she's gonna go for the blue-haired girl. If she's on the right... Okay, there you go. Wait. She's already walking up. I didn't even give her a weapon and she's walking up. You gotta be kidding me. Hey! Hey! You're my mind slave! Wait, where the hell are you going? Is she going over to the other side? No way. Let me see. She is. So she started off in the mind slave corner. Now she's in the broken corner or whatever corner. She chose this corner. That is freaking ridiculous. And now she's getting up. I honestly thought that she was going to be a full mind slave, but no. She went over back to her side. And I think she's going to go for the blue haired girl. Yeah, she's going after the blue haired girl. Okay. So there you guys go. If you show Haruta the picture of Masume talking to another girl, and then you kidnap Haruta, she's gonna be a pretend mind slave, and then she's gonna go back to her own corner, and then she's gonna go after the person that she wanted to go after all along. So you have no control over this particular mind slave. On to the next one. I found a glitch. One, bully Haruta and get her reputation to negative 50. Two, have one of the bullies talk to Sora and take a picture of them talking. Three, Wait till the next day and send her a note to talk to you behind the school. 4. Show her the picture of Sora talking to the bully. 5. Go to the next day. 6. Press K to get Saki Mind Slave. 7. Once Haruta starts moving to kill Sora, give Saki a knife to kill Haruta. 8. Watch what happens. 9. Go to the next day and try to find these people that are supposed to be dead. Okay, first of all, who the fuck is Sora? There's so many people in this game that I can't put the names to the faces. So I'm actually gonna have to find out who the hell you're talking about. But Sora definitely doesn't sound like one of the girl's names. So it's gotta be one of these rainbow-haired colored dudes right here. So let's see what this guy's name is. Hayato Haruki. This guy's name is Haruto Yuto. Blue guy is Ryusei Koki. Turquoise hair Justin Bieber looking fuck is Sora Sosuke. Okay, so this is Sora. So I gotta get one of the bullies to distract this guy right here. So let's make it happen. All right, so we got the new girl right here. Let me offer help. Sorry to call and I got this like picture this. of Sora this right over person. here. So now we just gotta end the day. And then the next day, I have to get Saki Mind Slave. And then it says, once Haruta starts moving to kill Sora, give Saki a knife to kill Haruta. And then I gotta watch what happens. So you guys better keep your eyes wide open because we gotta watch what happens. Haruta is already moving in for the kill on Sora. So I gotta give the knife. And we gotta go for the new chick. There you go. And let's see what happens. So in the history of this whole series, I don't think this has happened. A mind slave is going for this guy. Another mind slave is going for this mind slave. What the hell are you doing? You're about to get fucked! Okay. We gotta hurry up. Saki, come on. Saki is so freaking slow. He is getting sliced up. Oh, there we go. Okay. So Saki is getting Haruta. Sora is already dead. So now I gotta watch what happens. 
But I don't want to show too much because, you know. The police arrive at school and discover what appears to be the scene of a murder-suicide. The police discover the corpses of Haruda, Saki, and Sora. The police discover a knife that is stained with the blood of Haruda and Saki. The police find fingerprints of Saki Miyu on the weapon. And Saki Miyu is dead, the police cannot perform an arrest. Alright, so now we know that all three of them are dead, or at least they're supposed to be. The last part of this glitch is saying, go to the next day and try to find these people that are supposed to be dead. So let's see what happens. Haruda's not there. Saki is not there. And Sora's not there. Wait, is that Sora? That is Sora. Sora's right here. So Sora's right there. Haruda's not there. Is Saki over here? No. So if you get Haruda to kill Sora, and then you get Saki to kill Haruda, it kind of cancels out the death of Sora. But where is Haruda and Saki? Alright guys, so I guess that was it. The Mind Slave killing the Mind Slave cancelled out the murder of Sora. And he's back at school alive and well. I don't know where the other two Mind Slaves are. Haruda and Saki are nowhere to be seen. But Sora's still alive, so that's good news. On to the last myth of today's episode. 1. Lower the new girl's reputation. 2. Tell a bully to distract the new girl. 3. Take a picture of the bully talking with the new girl. 4. Make a note and meet the placeholder girl anywhere, anytime about bullying. 5. Choose the photo of the bully and placeholder girl talking with each other. 6. Go to the next day. 7. You probably have to be quick. Go run to the place the placeholder girl is. Will she kill herself? This just has to work, guys. Sorry this has to, to work. So this, there's the picture of Masume talking to Haruda. This is the person who spread rumors about you. So okay, and then she's gonna blame herself, and then she's gonna do stuff to herself? I have no idea. We're about to figure it out right now. This is gonna be stupid as fuck. What, she's just gonna, like, get a knife and end herself? This is so stupid. <laughs> All right, here we go. I gotta be quick, so teleport in front of the school. And Haruda is right there. She got the knife. And I think, yup, she ended herself. Okay. So that was a pretty easy one to answer. If you do all those steps, if you show Haruda the picture of her talking to Masume, she's gonna say, I can't trust no one, not even myself. And then she's gonna end herself in front of the school the next day. But before we end this episode, there is something that I wanted to check out ever since we did the last myth where we had Saki Mind Slave and Haruda Mind Slave. Let's see what happens when we have Saki go after Haruda and we have Haruda going after Saki. I wanna see what happens in a battle of the two Mind Slaves. All right. So all we gotta do for this one is we gotta get Masume to distract Saki. Then we gotta take a picture of Saki and Masume. And I don't know why their tatas are touching, but you know, that's none of my business. And now let's show Haruda the picture of Saki. And last but not least, we gotta press K to spawn Saki Mind Slave. And let's get ready to rumble! In the left bush corner, we have a girl standing five feet tall with turquoise spiral hair. Her weapon of choice is gonna be the knife. If I can even give her the knife. Why the fuck can't I give her the knife? Saki. The girl's coming. Please. Hurry the fuck up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hamana, 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 hamana. She's coming. She's coming. Take the knife. Take the fucking knife. He's on the floor. Take the fucking knife. She's coming. Oh my god. Why can't I give you the knife? Saki. No. No. I'm gonna protect you, Saki. You're not gonna get her. Juke him. Juke him. No. Fuck. Okay, maybe I did something wrong, but for some reason, Saki was not accepting the weapon, and Haruda just went ham on that ass. Okay, guys, I'm doing this again. I'm trying to give Saki the knife, but there's no, like, prompt for me to give her anything. Like, I can't put the knife away and then take it back out and then try to give it to her. Haruda is slowly creeping back up. She's like the freaking Terminator. She will be stopped at nothing. I can't give Saki anything to defend herself. So I don't think this is going to work if you have Saki over here and Haruda over there. Haruda clearly overpowers Saki because Saki's curled up into a little cheese ball. And Haruda's coming to eat that ass. Not literally. So there actually is one more thing that I want to try before this episode ends. And I know you guys want to see this too. So I chose the red-headed girl as the bullying target for Haruda. So Haruda is going to seek revenge towards the red-headed girl. I went over and spawned Saki Mindslave on this side. Let's see what happens if the target of both Haruda and Saki are the same person. What's going to happen? Like, is Saki and Haruda going to be on top of the red-headed girl and try to give her the business with the knife? So let's pick the red-headed girl for Saki to kill. And now she's gonna go up and get her. And then Haruda is also gonna go after the same girl. Yup. She's walking up. And Saki's walking up too. 
Let me know down low what you think is going to happen in the comments below. Is Haruta going to get to her first? Is Saki and Haruta going to be both on top of the red-headed girl at the same time and start slicing her up? They actually look like they're going to get to her at about the same time. Haruta is definitely going to get to her first. So there you go. She's tackling that ass. And Saki... Yup. Saki just ended up tackling the air. And they're actually both not even stabbing her. They're both stabbing the air. Nani? Okay, so now we know what happens when two mind slaves go after the same target. But let's end the day and let's see what the police say. The police arrive at school and discover what appears to be the scene of a murder suicide. The police discover the corpses of Haruta Paresu, Saki Miyu, Yui Ryo, and Yui Ryo. Okay, so there's two Yui Ryos. One for Saki and one for Haruta. Yui's evil ass ended up dying twice, so there you go. But that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is the dude!